So I tell the guy, of course my sprayer is calibrated. It always empties in the same place and the rate controller handles the rest. That's what rate controllers do. They calibrate your sprayer. Actually Jason, that's a myth. A rate controller only knows the total output of your sprayer. It averages that flow across the entire boom width. Uh, yeah, rate controller, I don't have to do any spray math. It's the rate controller that handles what the nozzle produces. Actually no Jason. What it means is that it uses pressure changes to compensate for plugged or worn nozzles to match the rate you dial in. A few nozzles might be underspraying, while a few others might be overspraying. You'd never know it. Well, how am I supposed to know if the nozzles are doing what they're supposed to be doing? You have to perform a timed test to make sure that the output of the nozzle matches the manufacturer's rate tables. You basically use a stopwatch like this to make sure that you have the right rate that matches what the manufacturer says it should. Wait, or you, just you can just use one of these vessels and uh, automatically hold it underneath the boom and it will collect the spray and automatically give you the rate of that nozzle and, and you're done. You'll find nozzles that produce more or less flow than the manufacturer specifies. Try to replace those nozzles and more importantly, find the reason for the problem. This uh, seems like a lot of work. Well, actually, Jason, it doesn't take very long. It'll take uh, probably 20 minutes. You can also use digital blockage monitors. or There's also these flow ball monitors that you can uh, watch from the cab and tell you if there's a problem. Huh. So, rate controllers don't really calibrate my sprayer. Okay. I'm going to start looking at my nozzles more closely more often. You're going to go far, Jason. <laughs>